Welcome Trevin and Karina. Um, hi, I'm Karina. And I'm Trevin. I will be playing the character Callie. And I'm going to be playing the character Lewis. And this is a scene from A Tiny Miracle with a fiber optic. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I hope I don't roll on to you in the middle of the night. I'm not talking to you anymore. Good night. Yeah, I fell asleep in the 10 seconds you shut your stupid mouth. I'm not talking to you anymore. Don't talk to me. Uh, how old were you when you had your first kiss? I'm not telling you. Was it the guy from Wilson? Which guy? The guy with the little, with the little mustache and the rat tail. No. Gross. You never kissed him? Well, he wasn't my first. Wait a minute, have you kissed anybody? Define kiss. So you haven't kissed anybody? Well, I mean, I kissed Rachel Marber on the bus in sixth grade. Well, I mean, she kissed me. And then later out, I found out that Cass Thompson had bet her a dollar she wouldn't do it. So do you think that counts? No. Why not? She kissed me. Yeah, but it was on a dare. Like, I bet you won't kiss that monkey over there. Or I bet you won't eat a ball of cat fur. Ugh. It's not as gross as it sounds. You ate a ball of cat fur? I got five bucks for it. Shut up. Like, you've never done anything weird. You ate a bowl of cat fur and you get to kiss people. And I never ate any cat fur and I never get to kiss anyone. Yeah, life sucks that way. I'm gonna kiss Carolyn Warren. Yeah, you are. I, I am. I made a pact with myself. Well, in that case, then... You don't think I can do it? Like, if you tie her up and knock her unconscious, then you can do it. Otherwise, no. Why not? Oh, come on. Carolyn Warren? What about her? Have you seen Carolyn Warren? Obviously, that's why I want to kiss her. Is she, like, freakishly weird in ways I don't know about? Uh, I don't think so. Has she called you on the phone or anything? No. I mean, yeah, one time, for math help. She doesn't like you, Les. She's cute, right? Yeah. So why would she like you? She's probably got lots of guys that like her. She doesn't have to settle for you. Not to hurt your feelings or anything. You didn't. All right, all right. No need to get sad about it. It's just the way things are. Girls in junior high don't go for the smart guys unless they're tall and good at sports. Smart doesn't really get a girl to like you. So what do you think I should do? You're asking me for advice? Yeah. I mean, you've got like tons of experience with guys, like Tons. Thanks, and every yes. week, there's like a new guy. It's like, you don't have any standards at all. Right, and I thought, shut up! You want my advice? Give up! I'm not gonna do that! Well, why'd you ask me for advice then? You're so rude. Your advice is lame! Well, don't ask me then! I want to know how to make her like me! Either she likes you or she doesn't like you. There's nothing you can do about it. What if I was like, dangerous or something? It doesn't matter. Go to sleep. God! Well, maybe if I... I alright, alright! Look! You got a lot of things stacked up against you. You're a dork. You're stupid. You're ugly. You can't dress yourself. I mean, the list goes on and on. <laughs> Underneath all of that, you're a nice guy. So don't try to be a not don't try to not be a nice guy because that's the only thing you've got. And maybe, you know. God will smile on you or something and momentarily paralyze her brain and she'll kiss you. But that's the best you can hope for. I love you, Kelly. Shut up. I'm gonna hug you at the mall tomorrow. I'll knee you in the balls if you try it. You're so sweet. But, seriously though, thanks. Don't mention it. You're the best older sister a guy could ever have. 
Go to sleep before I gouge your eyes out with a spoon. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Kelly? See.